Let me down. I mean, <clears throat> put on your um, your moving average for your five one on a thirteen. What I've done, just out of curiosity, the easiest thing for me to do here, real fast, was to just put on the strategy, which is now called Helix instead of Trumper Trader. But anyway, um, it doesn't really matter what anything is. The only thing I've done is I've come down to group three here, the background, which is the third one. So um, obviously the 55 is the mid band here. The 165 is this one. And then this one is a synthetic one. I've turned it. Uh, I, it don't worry about that one. That's just for the orientation that it has to be for trading. But this is the one that you want to plot. So in any event, I did an Inzerenko, a 5-1. These are all used for range and, and minute charts and whatnot. So for the Ninzarenko, these are 5-1 Ninzarenko. And I'm plotting it, which is right here. And I'm on a 13 range chart. So in essence, it's kind of following price. It's I, I kind of thought it would be that because this is a small moving average. And you want it on a 13 range chart. So just out of curiosity, this is, you know, what it's going to look like. I mean, if that's what you want. Um, so in any event, if you want to look at what it's going to look like in another one, we could throw on an indicator. We could throw on an EMA. Uh, that's really what it is. And then it's just a matter of, Trying to match it up, so it'll be white. And well, that's interesting. Oh no, that's that one. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Um, that was probably the easiest thing to do. Let's let's start small here. So there it is. There. Let's just go to a one. Oh, that's pretty close right there. Uh, an EMA. Period one. That's interesting. Hmm. That's pretty damn close. <clears throat> so, I mean, that's an easy, quick way to do it. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, we can refer a little further, but uh, so here, let me. Turn it off for a second, just experiment here. I'm going to leave that on. Let's turn these off just so we don't get confused. So let me come down to the bottom, turn it off. I'll get it ready to go for later. And let's go, it's group three. Uh, three. So let's turn the 55 off, the 165 off. Let's leave this on. But let's do it. Let's do it 13. Two. Let's do a thirteen two and see what that looks like. <coughs> Ninzarenko on a thirteen range. That doesn't look too much. I've been using range bars lately. Um, it's kind of interesting how on here. On the strategy, I've been comparing the two side by side, but he, oh, wait a minute. You know what I'm thinking I might be doing? No, no, I shouldn't have been here to do that one. Um, down here under other options, group C, uh, maybe it's D, additional options. This is the last one here, range bars. So basically, it just converts it to range bars instead of an So if you turn that off, it's going to be an Inzaranko, which I like. And if you turn it on, then it goes to range bars. But I have been looking at range bars lately. And the reason for that is because a lot of people don't have Ninza. They don't use Ranko. They don't like Ranko. They got to go download it from a third party. You know, whatever. Range bars is pretty standard. So that way it'll work. Because if you don't have it, if you don't have Ninza Ranko, this won't work at all. So that's why I have a default to range. So that way it'll work. And if you happen to have Ninza Ranko, then you can turn it on and have more options. But I've been putting the two side by side. and. Um, Kind of, I don't like, I like the Ninza Renko better for uniformity and cleansiness. But as far as productivity and, and, you know, capturing, 
and the range bar I'm kind of liking. So anyway, that's it for that. You can get a hold of me and see where that goes. So anyway, if you try an EMA-1, uh, that might work close enough. All right, bye.